Come on, get on there. Turn live. What? Remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thank the Mickey Mutineers. They invented them. There are thousands of Disney podcasts on the internet, and this is one of them. I'm Jake. I'm Josh. I'm Jordan. And you're listening to Yeah, Mickey Mutineers! Tonight, Tiana is ruining our bingo card. Uh, <laughs> something in the skies over Disney Springs. Strange things are afoot at the rivers of America. And for the main topic, top four Sherman Brothers songs. Woo! Yay! Something hey, wait. afoot at the Circle K. What? <laughs> you read those notes really well. What happened? Yeah, yeah. Uh, kids don't have school tomorrow. I can be louder. So wait, you read better if you're louder? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, don't you? <laughs> let, let me t- I need a book. Here we go. Oh, I got a book. Oh, hey, yeah, read your book instead. Okay, I got uh I went I went and bought this. Or, well, okay, wait. I went to right here on my phone and bought this. <laughs> so, uh, disappointing affirmations. Unfollow your dreams. By Dave Tarnowski? Yell it. You'll say it better. By Dave Tarnowski. Oh, shit. You're it doing really the best you can, which is pretty sad. <laughs> Just be yourself, but not your real self. No one wants to see that shit. <laughs> Don't let anyone make you feel bad about yourself. That's your job, and nobody does it better. (laughs) Hold on, we have a comment. Ryan said, Jordan got back in time from Monocon. Yeah, nah. (laughs) True. I feel really weird, though. (laughs) Do you feel bored? (laughs) (laughs) One one time I thought I had mono for an entire year, and it turned out I was just bored. Just really bored. (laughs) All right. My entire vibe is I don't want to. <laughs> Wait, no, I actually agree with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Failure is always an option. I feel like we're breaking copyright <laughs> copyright laws by you. I just wanted like two of them. Oh, uh, all right, two more then. <laughs> we're gonna get a sit and deceit letter. <laughs> you are not alone. Everyone else is disappointed in you too. <laughs> Wait, that's the Hess family crest. <laughs> yeah. And here's my personal motto. Fuck it. Take a nap. That's my personal crest. <laughs> oh. I almost said personal quest. You know what? It, Fuck it. It was it's my it personal was, quest. <laughs> it was it is my motto. What's the motto? Nothing. What's the motto with you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that was a Disney reference, Jordan. Yeah, it really was, actually. Um, I have to apologize if things are loud over here. Um, I'm because you're reading something. I'm printing something. Oh, what are you printing? Uh, the meditation gnome from Bluey. Yes. Um, I wanted, though. I wanted Jeremy. Well, this one's not for you. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this printer sucks at its normal speed, so I have to slow it way down. And it does amazing going slow. So this gnome is going to take about 20 hours. And then your gnome is going to take about 20 hours, but I won't be here to start it. So it's going to have to wait till I come home from California. <laughs> so it's going to take six months. Yeah. And 20 yeah, hours. <laughs> yes. Yes. And then but I'll get it. I'll I'm going to bring... Years. I'm going to bring your Godzilla and, and the Godzilla I printed you. Wait, the Godzilla you what? Printed you a Godzilla. You printed me a Godzilla? Yeah. I don't remember this. Uh, yeah, How long it's ago? a surprise. Oh. Uh, like three months ago. <laughs> but don't tell me then. 
I, I, I painted half of it. No, don't tell me. I, I'm not telling you. I'm just going to show you the half I painted. That's its butt. Yeah, it's the lower half. You can paint? No, it looks like shit. <laughs> it's actually not paint. It's a, uh, it's tinted. Uh, it's tinted. <laughs> it's tinted epoxy. <laughs> what? That sounds a lot like paint, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's two part paint. Oh, it's got an A and a B, and you mix them together, and it forms C. That is, it's like that. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Yeah. That, that's literally the mix ratio. Oh my gosh! So, like right before we we started recording, I had an Albanese uh, peach ring, and somehow it has. Red <clears throat> Throat out. So you, you got that. You got that. Sh that sugary shit in your throat. Yeah, it's just like you got those sugar rocks. <laughs> you got sugar mouth, but in <laughs> what? Yeah, no, no, I agree. No, Z just said ew peach rings. You know what? Oh, I didn't know my kids listen to our show. Mine don't. I won't let them. They're better <laughs> yeah. than that. Yeah. Well, my my <laughs> mine have to. Mine have to. They're upstairs. Here in this side of the show. This but one's just, not upstairs. This side. one? <laughs> no, no, that one's not upstairs. Stop, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Only I can call her this one. I didn't call her this one. I call her that one. Oh, that's way better. I, I guess. Hey, let's talk some Disney. We have a lot, to sh a lot of show to cover and mm -hmm. 11 minutes to do it. Eleven minutes. It's a, it's a grand three-hour finale. <laughs> <laughs> no, now we got a minute and a half. <laughs> 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 this week on jokes, I will never get tired of that one. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> so anyway, first up, it, this wasn't even in the notes because I totally forgot to talk about, or to put it in the notes. I forgot to yell it out loud. Uh, but that was my job. Oh right, you forgot to you forgot to yell it out loud uh, last week. Um, so we have a local Broadway theater here. Do you guys even have a Broadway? No, it's. I don't know how to answer that. No, we don't have a Broadway. <laughs> we have a Broadway theater though. And it's there's just one road out to it. Anyway, uh, every year they do a Disney show. Oh, I know what theater that is. Yeah, it's Tuacon. Yeah. Like, it's actual, like, full-fledged Broadway theater. This yeah. year, they did a Disney show and a Disney-adjacent show. And last week, I went to both of them. <laughs> Disney-adjacent? So we got Frozen and Anastasia. Nice. And nice. Uh, she's dead. <laughs> well, you spoiled the ending. <laughs> Which is weird because she's very much alive. <laughs> oh. So I saw Anastasia first. It was really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. There was one creative choice they made that I didn't necessarily agree with. What's and that, that was... Uh, Rasputin wasn't in the play at all. Is he, he like the main? The main, the main villain? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who is the bad guy? They just replaced him with the Bolsheviks. Which isn't nearly as fun. Jordan, Jordan you got something to say about this. I see. I, see. I mean, <clears throat> that's to the Bolshevik <laughs> Revolution. Right, right, like it makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> it wasn't the Rasputinian Revolution. <laughs> like, it was the Bolsheviks that killed them. IRL. I understand why the change was made. I just really like Rasputin. He has the best song in the film. And that song was not... I don't know. Film. That that musical number during the revolution was pretty fucking on point from the Bolsheviks. <laughs> Red, red, everywhere you see. It's a fucking Broadway number one hit. 
Hold on. There was a scene where there was a Bolshevik song with red everywhere. It, it got a little uncomfortable. <laughs> ah. it, it was wild. Anyway, so that was great. So one dude played great. a mean hammer and the other dude played a mean sickle. <laughs> hey, speaking of jokes I will never get tired of. <laughs> the TikTok, the TikTok uh, gag where the guy's working on a hammer and he puts it down on the sickle. Oh. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, uh, the orchestration starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> Just automatically. Nice. That's one of my all time favorites. Oh man, never tired of it. Anyway, so then I watched Frozen a few days later. And that was even better. Holy crap. Frozen's oh. just Frozen's just fantastic. They they die at the end. Actually, the parents die right at the beginning. Also, oh. a weird creative choice they made in Frozen was Rasputin <laughs> was in it. <laughs> Replayed Christoph replaced Christoph. No, no, Olaf. No, not Christoph. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you want to build a Russian? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very different Frozen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, that's so that's my review. Build some those. comrades. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> wait. Who played who played Marshmallow? In the play? Yeah. Unfortunately, Marshmallow was the character that was actually missing from the play. Oh. oh. But one of my favorite parts of the play was a guy played Sven. And obviously he had no speaking roles. I always I always like that whenever he's just a random dude. <laughs> just but he's an animal. <laughs> Some dude out there in a reindeer costume giving it his all. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, one thing wait, I didn't really that wait, dude did, 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 did was Christoph Ryan Gosling. <laughs> <laughs> what, Josh? Did Christoph talk for? <laughs> I mean, he did the voice for him. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, well, oh, one thing I appreciated, though. This this is a deep cut. Have you all seen that? Um, it's in the Imagineering book, the uh, Snow Queen concept art from mm -hmm. way back when. Yeah. When Walt was thinking of making a Snow Queen movie. Yeah, yeah. So at one point in the play, Elsa was wearing that costume. I was like, oh, that's that's neat. Nice. Like with the full like icicle frill and everything. That's awesome. Was like, that wasn't in the movie at all. Anyway, I mean, the play very much followed the same storyline as the movie. I felt like the movie was made as a Broadway play. Huh. It, it was very transferable. Anyway, so that that, that was that. I, I saw two plays. Next year, I'll see nice. another one. I saw uh, them the I, same I, week because it was preview week and it was super cheap. We we uh we haven't gotten to see him play. See him gone to see him. We haven't gone to see him. A play since uh, Book of Mormon the Musical. Do you guys ever go to theater? I, I don't know. Ask Jordan. What? <laughs> Do you have a Broadway theater? I mean, we have the Fox, but we don't. It's not really a Broadway theater. Oh. I mean, a lot of a lot of Broadway shows go to the Fox. Yeah, yeah I think so, that's uh, 20, 20, 2025 Book of Mormon musical is going to be at the Fox. I think that's a musical we're never going to get here. Uh, it's played in Salt Lake before. It's true, but the, they have an audience for that there. <laughs> Hi, Gene. <laughs> Guys, there's special guest tonight. <laughs> Gene hmm. Gray. But specifically Gene Gray from the 90s. <laughs> I was hoping Jordan would do her voice, Christoph style. <laughs> <laughs> oh Scott <laughs> uh, I still wanted it in Sven's voice though <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Hi I'm welcome to good. the Mickey Mutineers <laughs> Welcome to the Mickey Mutineers Hey I bought action figures this week Little, little tiny Did ones you? Yeah they're up there 
You're the here. worst at show and tell. Oh, here. Uh, they're up there. Uh, uh, stop it. Put me down. <laughs> this is oh, like that scene sorry. from Honey, I Shrunk the Audience where the kid picks you up. Oh, God. I hate that scene. I hated that show. The whole show. <laughs> I, yeah, not a fan of Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. No, no. Didn't yeah. it replace Captain EO and then Captain EO replaced it? Yeah. Okay. Wait, I Which, thought. I, wait, I thought Honey, I Shrunk the Audience was in Hollywood Studios. No, it was in Epcot. No, it was in the Imagination yeah. Pavilion. No, it was the whole point. It's imagination no. Pavilion. It's Doctor Nigel yeah. Channing. Was no, in it was in fucking Hollywood Studios because no, the it's, fucking it's, playground it's, it's was got, right there. Yeah, the playground was there, but the the, the movie was over in the Imagination because the because my Python guy. Yeah, like the whole show takes place in the Imagination Institute. Jillian! <laughs> Get in here! <laughs> Answer this! <laughs> yeah, I went from Magic Journeys to Captain EO to Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. I, 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 to Captain you're EO. not wrong. There was a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids playground. Which yeah, was- but maybe maybe I'm just misremembering my original trip, but I, I remember seeing... Uh, seeing honey i shrunk the audience in the studios because like that was the whole point of that that uh playground being there um i, I i'm just looking this well, up no, the, the, the i mean i'm probably i mean two against one i'm probably wrong but i could have sworn that that was the that was the whole reasoning for putting the the playground there yeah no it was You've created a memory. You're you're making memories. Oh, yeah. memories. Yeah, this is making uh, memories. Yeah, this is the uh, the uh, the Nelson effect. The... <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of his last name. <laughs> Months. <laughs> yeah, the Months effect. The, the Months effect. <laughs> <laughs> the most effect is where they just laugh at you. Mm. <laughs> you sound like Patty and Selma laughing at me. Yeah, yeah. You have to go up on your tippy toes to do it. Uh, what's up? What's <laughs> next in notes? I forgot. Uh, what Tiana. Oh, yeah. So next episode, we're going to update on our bingo card. But right now, Tiana's. I mean, not not she's not working alone, but she is helping and ruining our bingo card for the year. Because if I remember right, it was Cassie that guessed that Tiana's Bayou Adventure is going to be delayed. Well, guess what, everybody? It's opening next month. Damn it. I mean, oh. yeah. <laughs> I know. I was very torn. I was like, yeah, but it's a bingo card, but yay. <laughs> I'm I'm uh I'm looking forward to it. It looks amazing. Have you guys seen the animatronics on Tickety Tockety? Yeah, it's gonna look good. Yeah, I I'm saw super a couple of them. What one did I see? Did I see uh, the alligator? Weirdly enough, I saw half the alligator. That was a little terrifying. Hmm. It's, like half? its neck flap wasn't on. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that was wild. <laughs> <laughs> and just like. It's it's amazing that that's what we all look like on the inside. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and the outside of Tiana is just looking at... Okay, that's what I wanted to talk about real quick. What are we going to call this ride? Because per the norm, no one's calling any rides by its full name. What, what is it? Tiana, with... Tiana's Bayou Adventure? Yeah. Sounds like we've just been calling it Tiana's. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, I'm fine with it, calling it Tiana's, or I'm fine with calling it Bayou Adventure. I kind of like Tiana's; it rolls off the tongue better. T B A. No, I don't know. No, no one doesn't. No, it doesn't roll off the tongue. <laughs> off the thumb. Tongue. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, we're calling it Tiana's. Nice. We're in agreement. Nice. It's funny. I was watching. Did you guys watch the uh, Jenny Nicholson video about? No, I want to. It's in my. Uh, it's in my short list of things to watch very soon. The well, what? it's long. Yeah, I know. The what? 
So there's a YouTube girl named Jenny Nicholson. I've only watched one of her other videos, and it was about a local cosplay or LARPing amusement park here in Utah that's no longer here. Oh. And I, I wanted to – it was a lot like the Star Cruise, now that I think about it. Wait, just, wait Utah's no longer there or the amusement park? The whole state just – Just gone. Yeah. We well, got absorbed into Arizona. We were lucky. <laughs> Well, it's the, guy, it's, the, it's the guys that got absorbed into Wyoming and Idaho that aren't so lucky. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the, so I'm only an hour into the Jenny Nicholson video because it's four hours long. But even she brought up like the whole naming the way Disney names things. And I was like, oh, I'm glad that I'm not the only one complaining about that since 1995. Complain about what? Just the things that the name rides, and nobody calls them that. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a few like that, huh? <laughs> there's a there's a lot. Like, like what what's indie actually called? I don't know. I know where the Tokyo <laughs> one is. <laughs> oh, it's the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Oh yeah, that's right. I I, I feel like they peaked with dinosaur. It's just dinosaur. Yeah, yeah, no, that that's easy. Yeah, and it's called dinosaur, and I call it dinosaur, and I ride it. I'm and, like, that sure shit and, was dinosaur. And I the other the the wild mouse one that was the same storyline. I Primeval just always World? called it. Oh, I always call it the other dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> like Tomorrowland Speedway, that's bad Autopia. Dinosaur <laughs> point five. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, but just a whole side tangent of what they name rides versus what we actually call them. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Slinky yeah, Tiana. Slinkies. Yeah, Slinkies. Yeah. Smugglers Run. No one Mansion. says Millennium Falcon. I mean, we got really lazy with Rise. Big Toy Thunder. Story Mania. <laughs> Well, I think, wait, it, the California Florida, Beach I, one is T- Toy Story yeah. Midway Mania. Yeah, I think Florida is Toy Story Mania. Mm, Toaster Mania. Toast. That's because they got the, 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 the Pop-Tart shop right there. <laughs> wow. A huge oversight not actually calling the eatery <laughs> Toaster Mania. <laughs> right. <laughs> Backyard barbecue bullshit. Toaster mania. <laughs> ah, shit. Did we just lawn chair Imagineer Toy Story Land? Yay. Anyway, I recommend the Jenny Nicholson video. And Tiana's opens next month. Uh, next up, speaking of things opening, Fantasmic showed up again at Disneyland. Minus the dragon. Yeah, I was... I mean... I'm happy Fantasmic's back. I breezed through it on YouTube. It's just B mode Fantasmic. I was like, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? N- just go dragon. <laughs> <laughs> you just put Maleficent on the pillar. That was it. With, was like, with oh. strobe lights? Yeah. <laughs> so I hope there's plans for a dragon. Even if they bring back the old dragon, just put the head on the end of the cherry picker again. I'm fine with that. Yeah. But damn it, I want a dragon. Like, suddenly Disney World's Fantasmic is better? That's not fair. Hmm. <laughs> I've, I've got nothing. I, I, I love them both. I can't. Just, yeah, anyway. Apparently, when, apparently shit burns down sometimes. Which is also on the bingo card. So, they need to bring the dragon back so it can burn down again. And then we yeah. win. Remember when the Tiki Room in Florida burned down and it got better? <laughs> yeah. Like, there's a precedent being set here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then Kong at Universal Studios burns down, and it gets worse. That's not cool. But that's not decent. Yeah, Bob Gurr made it. Okay. <laughs> it's Disney adjacent. <laughs> okay. You, yeah. <laughs> it's not like Disney doesn't own half the stuff in the Universal Parks at the moment anyway, so... <laughs> Shit, you're not wrong. 
<laughs> and the other half is Warner Brothers. <laughs> or Paramount. Yeah. So weird. Wait a minute. What the hell is Universal at Universal Studios? Kong. The Monsters. Monsters. Uh, oh, the yeah. Monsters. Yeah. 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 Oh, and Jurassic Park. Oh, hey, there's a new Monsters movie coming out. Or series. But it's going to be a horror series. It's not going to be a Rob Zombie. Oh. It's not Sir Robert R. Zombie? No. Nope. Mm. It's kind of right. weird that Rob Zombie made a comedy. Honestly. I mean, the Monsters was a comedy. It's weird that yeah, Rob yeah. Zombie made it. Yeah. I see what I, you're saying. I, I liked it, though. So I, I, I enjoyed it. I never saw it or the original. I so I saw half of it. I didn't dislike it. Yeah, I thought I thought it was fun and campy, just like it was supposed to be. Yeah, like stuff like that. Like if it's what they set out to make, fine, great. I'm not gonna complain. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, last up, back to the bingo card. I need to ask you guys this. We put a drone show on the bingo card. Oh yeah. Disney uh-huh. Springs gets the drone show. Does that count? I believe so. Yes. Yeah. Because oh, what what was the? It just said drone show, right? It didn't say where it was going to go. I can't. I just Disney couldn't remember if I said drone show or not. Yeah. Uh, hold that, on. That definitely Permanent drone show stateside. Oh shit! Stateside. Hell yeah! All right. Full bingo update next episode. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, hold on. I am marking it off right now. And speaking of the drone show, though, I saw some TikToks of the crowd there that made me want to die. Pretty, Did, pretty oh, yeah. Is that like all the way back there where it was like, so, oh, God, somebody posted on Twitter and said it was like a 30 minute standstill. Yeah. Just was that for uh, that night? Yeah. It was for the drone show. Oh, I just I just thought so, it was because it was Memorial Day weekend. I didn't realize that the drone show had already like debuted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wow. I mean, it was probably a combination of both. But like, I can stand. Like, I will give a pass to waiting in a crowd like that exiting a park because I just. But like, I don't know if I could mentally handle that crowd in Disney Springs. Just, just context wise. <laughs> so stuck in this mall. So a few years ago, Disney was hiring an FAA coordinator for this shit. And it's like, I saw that. It's like, nope, I don't want any part of that. <laughs> Just dealing with FAA is hell. I, I imagine, yeah. I, it's so, probably why the dragon only flew once. Probably, yeah. The new, the new Fantasyland dragon. <laughs> yep. But that was weird. It was cool once. It's so loud. <laughs> what was? I don't know. I, I'm just imagining it that the fucking dragon had to be so fucking loud. Just the. Oh, the blend, it was just the, 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 the blender motors going. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. It's roaring. Um, all right. I, <clears throat> that was pretty much the news. I was anyone, I, I'm I'm super excited about the main topic. Oh uh, wait, I, I thought there was. I mean, I'm not excited it? that we're doing. I mean, I'm excited no, we're doing the topic. Uh, I'm not excited yeah. why it came about. Yeah. That was, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I, I I I was proactive this time. I, I wrote my shit down instead of trying to make it up on the fly. All right, let's get into the main topic because, like, I'm gonna be honest. This is one of the funnest top fours for me that we've done. Like, I yeah. was just going through. I was like. All these songs, all these songs. So here's, here, here's look, I guess we should introduce it. I'm getting ahead of ourselves. Jake, so, why don't you go ahead and introduce our main topic? Oh man, let's see if I can do this with class. So a couple of days ago, the world lost a treasure. Mr. Richard Sherman, the uh, half of the Sherman brothers, which. Robert died what ten years ago? Mm, Twenty twelve. Uh, oh yeah, wow, fourteen yeah, years ago. Like Jeez. And well, that's twelve through, years ago. So, I mean, they lived a hell of a life. I'm not going to go through a whole biography because there's a movie about that that you can watch called The Boys. Yeah, that's actually a really good documentary too. The, yeah, called well, The What? The Boys. 
Is it on Disney Plus? I think it was, and then I think no, it got it's on, pulled. It's, Hold on, let me check. It's on Amazon. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> no, that's a that's no. <laughs> that's not the that's documentary a, that's, about the Sherman different... Brothers. Uh, oh. Yeah, you know what it is. Go, why don't you go ahead? And, there's three whole seasons. Why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, go what? Damn it, we lost the class. <laughs> It is, on, it is on Disney Plus. <laughs> All right, so you can watch the boys on Disney Plus. You can also watch the boys on Amazon. That's not the one we're talking about. <laughs> one will depress you. One won't. I'll let you decide which one's which. Uh, there was also a scene in Saving Mr. Banks where the Sherman brothers were played by Jason Schwartzman and B.J. Novak. That's the other guy. Let's, let, let's put a pin in that. Okay. All right, that's gonna be coming up on a list. Maybe mine, maybe yours. I don't know. Oh yeah, what the hell, Ryan? I knew Brian Wilson had laser eyes. That's that's my new band name. <laughs> Just that whole thing. Yeah. Like or it. or no, I take it back. That's my that's my uh, new album title. And the artwork is just a kaiju Brian Wilson shooting everybody <laughs> with laser eyes. Nice. <laughs> nice. I like that. But Can specifically Brian Wilson from the Pet Sounds era. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice? Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if <laughs> we were bigger? <laughs> Wow. Then we can just go and All right, stop. let's get into the main topic. All right, so top four Sherman Brothers songs, because th- this is just kind of a celebration of their life and accomplishments. From movies to theme parks to TV shows, just phenomenal songwriters. Uh, I got my list, so we go from four to one with an honorable mention towards the end. All right. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Wow. Josh, you're number four. Tiki Room. Did I write Tiki Room? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Why did I think that was someone else? That that almost made my list only because I knew it was going to be on Josh's list. (laughs) Ah, thanks, Jordan. (laughs) You're welcome. (laughs) Man, like, like, like at first when I started going through their catalog, it was, it was not, not number one, but it was up there. So yeah, I had to I had to keep bumping it up. So yeah. I have That's a feeling a, yeah. that a couple of our number ones, or at least two of us, our number ones will be the same. I, I hope look so. I'm gonna be honest, my number one, it was a fierce battle. Oh my my mine was easy. And, and it eventually landed one got completely thrown off because I just assumed someone else is gonna have it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> kind of what jo- like what Jordan did with Tiki Room. <laughs> Not only were you celebrating the Sherman brothers' lives and accomplishments, we're also exposing how well we know each other. Right. <laughs> 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 but Josh. Yeah. Do you like the Tiki Room because of their claws? No, because of macaws. Hey! <laughs> 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 oh, so, such a fantastic song and a fantastic, like a groundbreaking attraction at the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One of my favorite interviews was, I think it was with Rolly Crump, uh, where they were, you know, he was talking about the coming up with the Tiki Room attraction. And um, someone drew concept art. And Walt was like, yeah, birds in there, they're going to poop in the food. <laughs> <laughs> that was a paraphrase, but. Not much of one. <laughs> so. All right. Fantastic choice, Josh. Jordan, you're number four. My number four. Uh, listen, I kind of I kind of did a deep cut on this one. I went with Green with Envy Blues from the An Adventure in Color slash Math Magic Land. And it ah. was sung by everybody's third favorite duck character, Ludwig. Von Drake. <laughs> Ludwig von yeah. what was it? Von Drake. Drake. Yeah, Ludwig von Drake. And it's uh if you it, 
if you hear it, it's like an early 60s, like not quite rockabilly, but a little bit more like Chuck Berry rock and roll song. And it's the it's sung by Paul Freeze. Wait, I so I remember this song. I haven't yeah. thought about this song oh. in like 37 years. <laughs> yeah, it's a good song. So so when I was uh when I was re- doing my research on this earlier today, uh Apple Music's got an album called The Sherman Brothers Songbook. Yeah, and I uh to it too. I, I, I'm going to uh be listening to this on my long ass drive this week. So I don't know. damn you oh, have to hey. drive out there? Yeah, I gotta take uh I gotta take my my truck, Tanky McTankerton. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> Nothing. What? Nothing. It's fine. It's a good name. It's a good name for a tank truck. What was the name of that song again, Jordan? Green with Envy Blues. Man, your deep cut is way deeper than the deep cut I have. But we'll get to that momentarily. <laughs> Um, all right, so my number four, well, let's just start with this. The one I told you to put a pin in is, damn it, Jillian. <laughs> Hello, Josh Jordan, and the other one. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> I'm fine with being the other one. Um, so my number four is Let's Go Fly a Kite. Not from Mary Poppins, though. Specifically from saving mr banks because it's the whole that, scene that, that, where that, that, mrs travers warms up to the idea yeah like, starts dancing with said sherman brothers played by bj novak and oh shit what was the other one jason Schwartzman. Jason yeah, Schwartzman. Schwartzman. i've watched that scene so many times just on youtube over really? the years yeah, yeah. That it, it gets me every time, and already a fantastic song, and featuring the Sherman Brothers, played by other people. Yeah, I like that. I've only seen Mary Poppins once. I've seen Saving Mr. Banks quite a few times. I, I, I've 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 watched Mary Poppins a few times. I think uh, when I was a kid, I really liked the uh, live action cartoon mesh together. It was fun. That was groundbreaking. Yeah, I, I, I'm happy that those penguins got a job at a bar, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, they need they needed it. Yeah, it was nice of the Ink and Paint Club <laughs> to hire them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tunes. <laughs> and I mean, nice. <laughs> All right, Josh, you're number three. Number three. Wonderful world of color. Wonderful world of color. Shit, did they write that one too? Yeah. Like the list I found was huge, and these weren't on it. <laughs> really? Yeah. They should have been in the W's. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get down that yeah. far. Th- 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 it's, uh, like, I had like, already uh, chosen my four by the letter T. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even like, then, uh, I was narrowing but, shit down. But no, and uh, um. I'm sure you, well, maybe you guys don't remember. Uh, Sunday night, Disney's Wonderful World of Color. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember it. Yeah. And then they took that tune and put it in World of Color at California Adventure. Oh, that's where they got the name of that. It, they used the same theme song. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm, I know. I'm just joshing you. Hey. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. He said the thing. <laughs> 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 it's the word of the day. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like we should have like a pre-recorded like something or another whenever like a pre-recorded jingle every time Josh says that. <laughs> I would like to do one, but then I feel like he's gonna take advantage of it. <laughs> now I'll forget. <laughs> All right. Well, it may or may not happen. <laughs> You guys want to know why I remembered I had a Twitter account last week? Why? Someone someone tried to sign in and change my password. Was it me? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no. I'm glad it wasn't. Anyway, wonderful yeah. world, world of color. Yep. It's a good choice. Again, I know it from the show, not from the show. I mean, man, I remember the show. I, <laughs> I'm having a stroke. 
<laughs> Jordan, you're number three. Uh, my number three is heffalumps and woozles. Ooh, nice. that's a good one. I I always found it weird that this song gets associated with Halloween because I don't think heffalump was like a specific like Winnie the Pooh Halloween thing, was it? Not really. It was just uh, a I, weird I, dream I, sequence. Yeah, but for some yeah, reason, I, it gets associated with Halloween. No, I didn't even know it got associated with Halloween. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like if, you, if you look up a couple of... Um, so I feel like there's some like Disney Halloween, uh, unofficial Disney Halloween albums mm-hmm. out there or playlists, and Heffalumps and Woozles is always on it. Oh, I mean, well, it's I, got like that spooky vibe that... Ba-dum, 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 hey. Heffalumps yeah. and woozles. Do, 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 like it's it's got that very like if you go to the woods today. Da, 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 da. So, but, oh wow, it does. Yeah. yeah. But uh yeah, I never I, I think it's funny how it's always associated with Halloween, but like it was never like specifically created for like a Halloween special or anything Winnie the Pooh wise. Well, I, oh. I can't think of a specific example, but I feel like the Disney Halloween parties it's featured whether like the uh, the Halloween treat, like oh yeah, no no no, the Halloween party in the in the parks. Yeah, in the parks. Yeah, like, yeah. Not, not I wonder so if it's just because like it's like the song's just in that minor key. Like I wonder if that's that's it. I I never thought about that, but it's possible. It's such a good song though. It's such a good scene, and mm-hmm. the best part of the ride because it is weirder in Disneyland. Yeah, because like. Hey, it's it's a blustery day. Oh shit! Have lumps and woozles. Happy birthday, Pooh. What? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> and then they just kick you out. It's on uh, par with Mr. Toad's ending. I love have lumps uh, and woozles. Yeah, that one almost made my list. Comments, but I guess we don't. What? What? Oh. Uh, Ryan's uh, referencing Josh's Twitter password. He said, we'll make your password harder and I uh, they won't get in as easily. Huh. Ryan, you don't want to get in Josh's Twitter. You'll see things that you cannot unsee. It's true. Yeah, it, was actually, it was actually Dimitri's Twitter, though, now that I think of it. Oh, shit. Dimitri Definitely got hacked? Mean I mean, his password was potatoes. <laughs> Wait, plural? Yeah. But like without the E. <laughs> well, good job trying to not get people to hack in your fucking Twitter. <laughs> Wait, well, what's amazing was it was also on a potato. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> no, not with a P, with a T. Potato? No. T- <laughs> Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. I was going somewhere with it. Ryan. <laughs> said, How do I hack someone and now I have viruses? <laughs> that was like when wow. someone stole my identity and then gave it back. <laughs> like, no way, man. <laughs> happened to me once and I uh my credit got better. <laughs> Weird. Uh my number three. Going into the parks for this one. Little little purple dragon dude. Animated little fucker. <laughs> <laughs> One little spark, baby. Yeah. Both versions. Love them all. I thought <gasps> about putting that one on my list. That one, uh, I'm going to be honest. I would say spark? maybe once a month or more, that song gets stuck in my head just mm-hmm. randomly. Mm-hmm. And it's that, so that'll, good. That'll happen. That will happen. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're adding that to your the Josh list. <laughs> nice. Nice. I like it. <laughs> uh, I don't have much to say about One Little Spark. <clears throat> I love the ride. Did anyone ever ride the original? Not me. I feel like I did, but again, it was back in 95. Oh, yeah. There's no, there's no don't, memory. Don't remember. Oh wait! I don't know that. if I don't know if I rode Horizons or not. You know what pisses me off is the first time I went to Disney World, Horizons was open. Then you didn't I go. Did, I, I didn't ride it. I didn't even know there was a ride in Spaceship Earth. I thought it was just a 
fucking ball. Big ball. Just a golf ball with a big line coming out from underneath it. Yeah, Horizons was nearing the end of its life because uh, Test Track was still open. It was, but yeah, so I I could have wrote Horizons and I never did. Hmm. Uh, sure? Ryan has an announcement. It says, guys, I'm going to Disneyland next month to get those <laughs> get those pack nice. mules ready. I kind of want to make a pack mule shirt just for Ryan. Ryan, if I make a pack mule shirt, will you will you buy one? I'll pay you back. I don't even care. <laughs> Also, do you need assistance at Disneyland? <laughs> I my fees are minimal. I just <laughs> I, I buy my own ticket and my own food. <laughs> Let me come with you. <laughs> I'll, I'll meet you there. I don't even care. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Josh, you're number two. Oh yeah, it's me now. Uh, trusted me. No, oh, nice. But I I. I really like the Scarlett Johansson version. The Scarlett Johansson version is so good. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you said it because yeah. I almost said it. Yeah, I like how it's... in that that song your choice is Scarlett Johansson or Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, both of them are good, but yeah, the Scarlett yeah, both Johansson great. one's great. <laughs> Stupid sexy <laughs> song. Speaking of which, did you guys see the Scarlett Johansson joke on uh, on uh, Saturday Night Live? Uh, the news weekend update yeah that's the one yeah that was rough <laughs> <laughs> that was funny because uh, that's that's when like shortly after that that's when i learned he's married to scarlett johansson and oh you didn't know funny. that no <laughs> yeah that's where he got no. so uncomfortable <laughs> <laughs> lighted me <laughs> yeah. good, good call from the jungle book josh well done yeah yeah thank you <laughs> bravo jordan uh, well, I'm not going to stray too far from that because my next one is I want to be like you. I almost picked that for my number two is between the two of them. So mm. I, I was, I've, I've always, I mean, that's, that's just a, a banger of a Disney song. It's, one and of my listen, favorite. it's in the Jake box. So it's, uh, it's, I don't give a shit about fallout boy as a matter of fact i really don't like fallout boy but they did a cover of this for uh -huh. that disney anniversary album from like six or seven or eight years ago and it was actually a really fucking good cover and they did a really good job and uh and that's not because i like fallout boy it's just because i like the song and they were they're an upbeat band that played an up good version of an upbeat song and god yeah. damn it it's actually pretty good so I, I'll fucking I felt the exact same way. I'm not a Fallout Boy guy. When that song came out, I was like, I was a little angry because I was like, fuck, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is going on repeat. <laughs> Such a great song, though. And again, much like, you know, the wide range of people who sing that song, like, ha, oh, we got Fallout Boy and Louis Prima yeah. and Christopher Walken. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, oh, man. I listen. A lot of people that, give, that. give the live action uh, films some shit, but the live action Jungle Book was pretty damn good. Oh, it was my favorite live oh. action one. I thought it was fantastic. And the fact that yeah. they made King Louis a, a gigantopithecus was like a fucking chef's kiss, and worked oh, yeah. that into the song. Exactly. You can't run gigantopithecus, but they did. Wait, did did Richard Sherman? I don't think he did that version. Yep. No, I, oh. I don't think he did that version. But uh, still, fucking cool. I mean, but most of the song was his version. Mm. They just added yeah. that other verse. So good, though. <laughs> I just, yeah, it's like, like they're just like, hey, orangutans are in India. But you know what it was at one time? <laughs> Gigantopithecus. Gigantopithecus. You know what's really interesting about Gigantopithecus is that the only fossils that have been found have been teeth and fragments of jaw bones. So they've been able to reconstruct this alleged size or the size of this alleged ape just from a couple jaw bone fragments and teeth. Science is awesome. I can't I believe know that. I thought I, I just, I just assumed they had more. I mean, it's a pretty big size right. jaw bone. I mean, it, it's, they have a lot of jaw bones and they have a lot of teeth, but there's no, you know, there's no full skull. There's no other bones. There's no ribs. There's no 
femurs. There's no other stuff. Wow. wow. I, I actually didn't know that. Yeah, no, that, that's freaking – that's awesome. And some some anthropologists think that the if, uh, if Gigantopithecus is – something that's legit because i still think it's being researched the then a lot of anthropologists are kind of leaning to gigantopithecus being like the the point of all the bigfoot myths and origins and folklore yeah 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 <laughs> yeah these big feats skunk ape mm-hmm. <laughs> the yowie <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wait, what's the what's the Canadian yeah. one? Damn it. <laughs> Sasquatch A. I don't know. That was dope. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> Sasquatch one. All right, I want to be like you. Fantastic. Uh my number two. Here's my deep cut. We're going back to the movies on this one. Uh, from the parent trap. Let's get together. Hmm. I loved that song when I was little. I also loved that movie. And then they remade that movie, and that one was really good, too. Yeah, I, I, I like both of them. Yeah. Haley Mills, fantastic. Lindsay Lohan, also fantastic. Don't know what happened to her sister, though. That was weird. Either of their sisters. Jillian has a comment. Oh. <laughs> she said, yes, I love that song. I played that tape to death. Woo! It's so catchy. Like that's yeah. the Sherman Brothers legacy is like this song's gonna be in your head forever. Good luck. Let's get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I got. Also, Parent Trap's great movie. And weirdly ahead yeah. of its time with that whole like same actress in the same scene, mm-hmm. two different roles. Awesome. Yeah, now I uh now I wanna watch both of those. At the same time. <laughs> Good luck. I'm gonna split screen that shit. Is Haley Mills still alive? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. All right, Josh, <laughs> your honorable mention and number one. Uh, my honorable mention. That's uh, uh, let's get together. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. See, it's uh, it's uh, on my list. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, I like yeah, that you I- put honorable mention as HM also. Because I do that, and I'm like, and I keep looking at it going, why the hell did I write down Haunted Mansion? <laughs> that wasn't yeah, them. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was hard to go 432HM1. <laughs> Julian said, wait, there's only one Haley Mills? <laughs> but now. <laughs> she absorbed her sister. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like the end of the thing. <laughs> Jeez, why? <laughs> why am I doing this? <laughs> Josh, what's your number one? Um, number one is uh it's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of the day. <laughs> Have you seen the Mickey Mouse cartoon where they go to the house of tomorrow and Mickey yeah. sings that? Yeah, yeah, I love that. Of course that. the house tries to kill them, but <laughs> Uh, it's so Haley, good. Haley Mills is still alive. She's 78. Wow, only 78? Yeah. She's single? Uh <laughs> according to Wikipedia, yes. I may or may not have had a crush on Haley Mills. I mean, who didn't? Come on. Yeah, right. Don't lie. <laughs> right? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, great big beautiful tomorrow. That's a just it's such a catchy fucking song. Here's the thing. It's so good that it replaced the song that replaced it. Oh, I didn't know I didn't know that. Yeah, because like there, uh, there was another song. Yeah, now is the time. I now don't is the that, time. Yeah. Now is the best time. Because General Electric, who sponsored the Carousel of Progress, they were like Okay, we don't want people to be like looking forward to tomorrow. We want them to know that they can get this stuff today. So they rewrote the song to now is the best time of your life. And then something happened. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. Great big beautiful tomorrow came back. Ah, nice. Yeah. yeah. 
But Which, I anyways. mean, of the two, it is the superior one. So, I it, agree. Okay, I'm really curious to see. I have two number ones loaded up, but let's see where Jordan goes because one of them is going to be his. I know it. Okay. What's your um, honorable mention? <laughs> all right, so my honorable mention is the title track song to the film, That Darn Cat, from the original, the, the 1960s version. Uh, and if you listen to it, it just sounds like it sounds really fucking cool. Like it's got that. It's got like that yeah. nice jazzy, like slow beat drum beat. And then you, I can't remember the, the guy who sings it, but he's just it's it's not quite a pop song, but it's not quite a lounge jazz song. But it's just very 60s. I'm going to look this up when we're done here because I don't know yeah. that song. I never saw that darn cat. I remember it's watching a- the original one a long time ago, but like it's been so long that I would essentially be watching it again for the first time because I remember nothing outside of the fact that it was a Siamese cat. And it Haley Mills is in it. Haley Mills yeah. is in it, yeah. Isn't, isn't that song like, is, isn't the music style pretty similar to uh, the... Uh, title song for a current track as well probably which sherman brothers wrote that too well yeah no i because I, I, I just might like i'm hearing the, the the you know the 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 symbols playing the symbols in my head and i can't remember if it's that darn cat or parent track <laughs> yes hmm. <laughs> you might, I, it's probably both but again, I've never heard that darn cat. I haven't heard it knowingly. I'm sure I've heard it. We grew up in a video rental store. So. Yes, you, you, <laughs> you, you've, you've heard it. And then I never saw the remake either. I didn't know there was a remake. Yeah, it was Christina Ricci. <laughs> huh. Saw that oh. in the theater a couple yeah. times. Was it good? Yeah. Like, there was Christina a- Ricci was in it. <laughs> I mean, it can't be bad. <laughs> <laughs> there was a weird moment in time there where like the Disney remakes were really good like Parent Trap, That Darn Cat, Flubber I love Flubber and oh, like, yeah. like let me Christina Ricci was my first childhood crush and she's still today my my crush <laughs> like, yeah like in Wednesday God, yeah yeah. I, I haven't seen Wednesday oh what? she's in it yeah I haven't seen it it's great mm-hmm. you, you'd like it it's right up your alley I'm sure but it's, it's like a good Harry Potter. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I went there. I took a stand. Nice, nice. I, would, I, mean, I'll, 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 I like I like this hill. I'll die on it with you. <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> hey, did you know that uh that's uh boy and yes combined and uh, and apparently it was uh started in New Zealand. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, I just got it from Bluey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that that. So apparently, there's a fight between Oos and Pavlova, just trying to figure out what country it actually started in. Isn't Pavlova a sandwich? No, Pavlova is not a sandwich. It's a marshmallow sandwich. Okay, no, wait, hold on. No, we have to back up. Oh, Jillian said, "And Mr. Magoo." I never saw Mr. Magoo. I saw the cartoon a lot. Ryan said, "Mr. Well, Magoo." Oh right, yeah. I look, right, yeah. Ryan yeah. said, "Mr. Yeah. McGill." Isn't wasn't that Leslie Nielsen? Yeah. Nice. So hold on, Jordan. Back up. First childhood crush, Christina Ricci. Was it Casper or Adam's family? Adam's family. Okay. Yeah. I mean, either one's right, and that's not creepy because I was the same age as her at the time. I was, so I, was I don't want to hear younger than her. So <laughs> <laughs> I agree with the not creepiness. Where are you like two two years younger? <laughs> yeah, but it still counts. I'm st- I'm still younger. <laughs> Come on. Come on. All right, Jordan, you're number one. Yeah, yeah. My number one is also there's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> oh, we crossed over. Wow. Now I, yeah, know. Yeah. I told I knew somebody was gonna choose that one as their number one, but it's just a fucking iconic song, man. Like Listen, there are there are a few songs out there that kind of get me in a good mood if I'm feeling like shitty, and that's one of them. So it's doing something right. It's it's on like it, it makes its regular rotation around my playlists. So it, it, it's it, a it, fantastic it, song. Yeah, it in, does the same in, thing, in, but in my head. In a in a 
time in a country where there's not a lot of hope, I feel like that song gives me hope. <laughs> and then the you song ends and I go, oh. <laughs> and then now as the time starts playing, you're like, no, fuck. Because <laughs> 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 if now is the best time of my life, we're, we're done, guys. We're done. <laughs> General Electric has no idea what they're doing. All right. Well, now I'm in a pickle because I had two number ones. One was a backup. So. What's your honorable mention? All right. My honorable mention. This is kind of a. Look, I don't even know if this counts because only one Sherman brother wrote it. But I put it, make way for was tomorrow. Was it the one today. who recently passed away? <laughs> Yes. Okay, well then it counts. Okay. I mean, he was a Sherman brother, but make way for tomorrow, to, tomorrow today, which was at the end of Iron Man 2. And I included it because, goddamn, he still had it. Like, I, that, I, I listened to Make Way for Tomorrow Today before we started recording this. I was like, this is a really good song. And it gets I, forgotten. I just remember seeing Iron Man 2 in the theaters and you know sitting through the credits and, and just thinking wow this sounds a lot like a, a general electric sponsored ride song <laughs> and i looked it up and it's like oh it's because it's the same guy that makes so much sense fantastic the same guy all right well my number one and it's there's probably a i had two number ones is the other one's probably better, but this one's just iconic, and it's... I would argue it's the second most recognized song in the world. Right behind small Happy world. Birthday. Oh, I, I know exactly which one it is. It's a small world song. It's absolutely it? small yeah, world. It's a small world. <laughs> nice. First of all, I'm sitting here on this program. When, when, when we started this podcast, I confessed my love for small world. I fucking love small world. Small world's great. The ride, the song... But then there's that one interview with Richard Sherman where he plays the song the way he originally oh, wrote it. Oh, God. As the slow yeah. ballad. That Ooh. one. That's great. Holy so, shit. So good. I, I I will admit, I purposely left Small World out of the list because I felt it was a little, a little obvious. But then again, I picked Great Big Boo for tomorrow. So, <laughs> ah. yeah, so. Three of you did. Up in the comments, Z picked it too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I was going to come back to it because I knew someone was going to pick it, then I forgot to come back to it. <laughs> Ryan said, the best part of Small World is that there's not a single animatronic that wants to marry my dad. Man, it's I, true. Hope, I, I hope that they left the animatronic now. in Tiana's. <laughs> and Jillian said, 100% Small World. I made my family ride that over and over. And you, were, you weren't wrong to do so. It's so... It's, my biggest small world memory was waiting in line to get on small world holiday getting about halfway there and then little Robbie because he was little had to poop <laughs> I was like you had to? <laughs> yeah yeah Robbie Robbie had to poop and then by the time we we're done the rest of the family was on the ride oh wait I was there for that yeah yeah, I rode the ride. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't have to poop. <laughs> I <rode the> ride. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> so the the other Fucking song Robbie. that was battling for my number one <laughs> might arguably be the actual best Sherman Brothers song. It was "Feed the Birds." Oh was, man! So yeah, it was, it was really really close to throwing that one in, but I I, I picked a. Uh, I was going to throw it in for my honorable mention, but I used Let's Get Together. I'm kind of surprised that neither of us picked Supercalifragilistic or uh, Chim Chimery, Chim Chim Cheru, blah, 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 blah. I almost blah, blah, blah. did Step in Time. Step in, okay, all right. I love Step in Time. <laughs> so, so with Chim Or a spoonful chim, of sugar. Chim Chimery. Like, like that, 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 that tune throughout. Uh, um, saving Mr. Banks is just bad. Yeah. I mean, we, we could easily do this list with just the Mary Poppins soundtrack. Mm -hmm. We could do this list with just the Jungle Book soundtrack. 
we, yeah, it was, we, it was, we could do this list like we could do it a year from now and it'll be completely fucking different. Oh yeah. Except for Great Big Beautiful Tomorrow, that'll still be number four. I'd probably switch my small world. Or, I mean, feed the birds. <laughs> but I wouldn't be happy about it. <laughs> I just assumed... I thought Jordan was going to be a feed the birds guy. Hmm. I guess I guess I don't know you. No, I, I saw <laughs> that darn cat coming a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> I should have. It's in the title. <laughs> I just don't know the song. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make what? a Spotify playlist of the list we just made. Okay, share it with us. And is yeah, because you got that website where you can transfer it to Apple Music, right? Yeah. And is yeah. Great Big Beautiful tomorrow gonna be on there twice? You bet your sweet ass it is. <laughs> it's gonna be opening and closing the set list. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Oh, this is a great yeah, I, I I really wanted you to hurry and record a pump cover of that for us, Jake, but you let us down. I did because hey, let's let's end on a plug, you guys. This week, the Great Emu War is coming out. I and mean, what the heck is Jake talking about? Nice, is it though? It's been yeah. two years in the making. Two years in the making. Hmm. So, come what, to find out, next? animation takes a long time. What's next huh. after that? <laughs> Uh, we <laughs> the episode that we recorded right before the Great Emu War. <laughs> nice. It's been sitting in the bank for two years. Nice. Well, didn't didn't we uh, we recorded a travel show, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We might have to redo okay. that. <laughs> but now, Josh, I got to do the intro to your podcast. Yeah, yeah, I got to buy a microphone and create a. Nice space to record it because this just isn't the, the proper background for a for a weekly YouTube channel. No, if you're gonna make a proper background, you just get lots of toys back there. See, see, they're up there. <laughs> yeah, you got you got to turn it turn around. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Uh, Ryan said that next title for Jordan better be that darn Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like it. All right, well, stay tuned for our next next episode in two weeks. Which, guys, it's our four hundredth episode. <gasps> Do we all have to take Molly? Oh wait, that was Dan Cummins. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, Josh? <laughs> you know oh, what we're man, gonna do? Was, we gotta that do was one my special. That that was one of my favorite ones. Hold on. And forgetting that he was doing a podcast because he's fucking enjoying the music. <laughs> I think for our four hundredth episode, we should get Ryan and Jillian on here. What do you guys think? Yeah. All right, Ryan, well. Jillian, you're on two weeks. Two weeks from tonight. Mark your calendars. <laughs> it's your warning. <laughs> I, I mean, don't want notice. to tell you again. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, hey. Check out Jordan Gasly's channel. The numbers just keep climbing. I'm super happy for you. I don't know. They got stagnant a little bit. I lost a lot of watch hours. I was 50 hours away from being able to monetize. And then uh, I dropped back down to like 28, 60 something. So I'm like 140 hours away from monetization. I like your new videos of like you playing with the stuff and like putting it together and stuff from like the POV shots. Oh yeah. And I've really, I've really enjoyed those lately. Oh, nice. Yeah. I might do a couple more of those. Yeah. We'll see how, uh, how the algorithm likes those. All right. Jillian's in and Ryan's in the so two nice. weeks from tonight. Stay tuned. We're, we're not going to have a comment section, but that's okay. <laughs> It'll be live action comments, <laughs> live action comments, 400th episode. I don't know. We're, we're, we're going to go over the bingo card so far. Anyway. Hey, we're the Mickey Mutineers and you've enjoyed us. <laughs> Do you want to build a Russian? No. <laughs> <laughs>